What's going on guys? The Barber Phil here bringing you another haircut tutorial. Today's cut is a mid to high bald fade. We're keeping the top kind of messy. I'd like to take a quick second to shout out Sean Cuts Hair and Cuts by Coast and those guys for really driving and pushing me to get on YouTube. And I'd like to welcome all the newcomers to the channel guys. I greatly appreciate the support. Just stick with me. I promise to be putting out content weekly. We're going to get right into this haircut. I'm going to section it off similar to block graduation and then we're going to jump right into the fade. My first section is gonna be an open one guard. It's a pretty large section, about two inches or so. This is just gonna give us a clean canvas to work with. We're gonna wrap this all the way around, making sure that we keep the shape consistent with the weight around the perimeter. I know the video sped up guys, but if you can notice, every stroke I take, the last part of the clipper that touches the head is the heel of my blade. That means we're scooping out at the top every stroke so that we don't punch in another line at the top around the perimeter causing us more work later. Now with a clean canvas to work with, we can punch our bald line in. And this is an important step guys, cause this really sets up the shape of the fade. So make sure that these lines are symmetrical going all the way around the head. With the bulk removed, we're gonna come in and immediately attack that bald line using a backed off trimmer, just flicking at the line to help remove it some. And then we're gonna come in behind that and use our gold FX shaver and take this all the way down the skin. Before using the shaver guys, make sure that you do yourself a favor and check out your client's scalp. Make sure that there's no irritation, bumps already, red spots, dry spots. If it is, it may not be the best idea to use a shaver because this is the closest that you can get it. Here I have the Coreless Senior modified with the Andy's Master Blade. We've got the blade wide open and we're going about halfway up into this section. With the lever all the way closed, we're gonna use the corner of our blade to knock out this bottom line. I can't stress enough guys how important it is to make sure that you're flicking at this line. If you're not flicking at the line every time that you make a stroke, you're bumping that line up higher and higher. Go ahead and open that lever all the way up. Make sure that you flick at that line and then we'll get right into some clipper over cone to debulk the weight around the perimeter. Give me a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying the beats of these videos. My guy Jamin at the shop has been killing it. Just gotta stay on him, make sure that he keeps putting out you know, content for us to use, but it's at J-V-M-I-N-L-E-E. -E. I appreciate it, Jamin. So we knocked the fade out from bottom to top. Now we're gonna debulk the perimeter by fading from top to bottom. We're gonna start with a closed foreguard and we're gonna follow it up with a three, two, and one guard, all in the Andes purple guards. And you should see this weight start to really disappear. The fade will come all together. And then after that, we'll go into some clipper over comb and finalize the perimeter. When doing clipper over comb, make sure that you scoop under the hair and you hold it out away from the head. So you're gonna hold the bottom of the comb flush to the head and the top of the comb angled outward. This is gonna over direct the hair out away from the head, allowing you to leave some weight, but still debulk the perimeter at the same time. Mm -hmm. 
After doing the clipper over comb, I noticed a spot through the middle of this fade here. I grabbed two guard with the wall, closed it up, knocked this spot out, and then we got right into the top. Starting with the bangs, we're gonna work in one inch sections, taking off about a quarter of an inch or so. And we're gonna use each guideline that we just cut as a guideline for the next. When doing the top, once I've worked from front to back and got the length that I'm looking for, I usually try to go back and work from corner to corner, cross-checking my work, making sure that we take out any unevenness in the top. Now I'm going to add some sea salt spray and then use the diffuser attachment on my blow dryer, working it in a circular motion so that we can get that desired texture look that we're going for. A sharp lineup can really make a fade pop, guys. So Pay close attention when you're doing detail work. Get these things as crispy as you can, and I promise it's gonna make this fade look better. We're gonna hit this vertical bar first, knock that C cup out, rotate them around, match it up to the other side, and then we're gonna get right into fading this beard. All right, guys, let's fade this beard out. We're gonna start with a backed off trimmer and then we're gonna have a two guard closed and we're gonna go with the growth of the hair. This is just gonna knock down some of the crazy hairs. We're gonna flip that around, starting just below the ear. It's gonna be a two guard up Then we're gonna close it. Two guard closed, open one guard after that, close it up, take the guard off, open lever, close the lever and it should fade right out guys. Being that I have a beard myself, guys, I take a ton of pride in beard work. We're gonna use our gold effects trimmer. We're gonna push this line down to its natural highest point. We're not gonna push this line in and push it back just to get a sharp line. We're gonna come in with some 245 no drip here in a second for a little bit of enhancements to really get a sharp line, but we're not gonna sacrifice this natural line just, just to make it crispy. We're gonna flip them around, fade out the other side, same steps, guys. Close two guard down, flip it around, Two guard open, starting just below the ear. Close it up, one guard open, one guard closed. Take it off, open that lever, close it up, bump the top line out with the trimmer, use your FX, make that line symmetrical. We gotta keep everything consistent, guys. Match it up to the other side, continue that C cup all the way around into the beard line. And I promise you guys, once we throw these enhancements on here, it's gonna bring this beard, it's gonna bring it all the way together. I know I just said it guys, but I'm gonna repeat myself again. Make sure that you're not pushing this line down too far, guys. We wanna keep it consistent with the C cup coming down through there. You can see me taking that trimmer, kind of in meeting the, the disappeared line from the C cup there. You wanna keep these symmetrical with both sides, so make sure that you use that as a guide. Last line to hit, guys, is the line underneath the beard. Make sure you're careful around that Adam's apple area and that your trimmers aren't pulling your client's hair. You can really turn a client off. Then we're gonna go straight into some color enhancements, guys, using the Sean Cuts Hair Color Enhancement Card and the Tomb 45 No Drip. This is a lethal combination if you want to do enhancements, if you want to take your, your lineups, your beards to the next level, guys. Go, go to SeanCutsHair.com, pick up a color enhancement card, go to Tomb45.com, pick up some No Drip, and I promise you won't be disappointed. Um, guys, this thing has every angle that you, you need. It's got the 90 degree angle for the lineups up top. It's got, you know, the angle for the beard. Combine that with the no drip, you can't beat it guys. We're gonna go into some razor work here, stretching the skin, holding the razor at a 45 degree angle, bringing everything back to the line, keeping everything consistent as Beam says. And then we're gonna use some Tomb 45 indestructible clay up top. Stuff's out of stock guys and we are devastated. We're hoping that Tomb can get it back going because there's a lot of guys in this shop and in our area that like to use this product. But Guys, that's the final product. It's kind of a mid to high bald fade, messy top with a little bit of enhancements on the beard. Let me know what you think, guys. I just got started on this YouTube thing, uh, really getting pushed by Sean Cuts Hair and Cuts by Coast to, uh, to be putting out this content. Uh, appreciate those guys for keeping me motivated. Uh, as always, guys, like it if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. 
leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know if there's any haircuts you'd like to see me do in the future. Uh, until then, guys, I appreciate it. One last thing, if you want some of the top content out there, guys, from some, some of the best guys in the industry, head over to the link in the description for the Tune 45 Online Academy. You won't regret it, guys.